everybody, this is Keith Gleason, host of Indie Comics Relay and creator of the Mighty Mascots. And I'm here with a special Halloween episode. Before we get into that, I just want to remind you, Mighty Mascots 7, 8, and 9, still going in demand. Um, this uh, campaign is going to be up for a little while. Um, so if you haven't backed it yet, perfect time to jump on. We are working on three new issues. Issue 7 is almost completely done. Issue 8 is about halfway done. And then we got to just wrap up issue 9. And then uh, we'll be heading, sending these right to the printer and getting it out to everybody. So uh, great time to back. We've unlocked two stretch goals. Um, the pirate eye patch and the uh, collectible box top cover. So all those are um, ready to go. And we also added a, a lunch box to the campaign. So all this great stuff, including the new issues and the old issues, if you have not, um, if you have not read the series ever before. So it's a great time to grab it. Um, you know, store, it's a superhero story done in the vein of a Saturday morning cartoon starring eight serial mascots. Um, that protect the city of bottle jack um so yeah it's it's a lot of fun a lot of fun to write a lot of fun to create and i i uh, hope you guys check it out all right uh now that we got the promo stuff out of the way um so i've been you know it's it's october right so we've been like uh thinking about halloween themed episodes here like i dropped on the channel last week um indie comic uh horror recommendations um so i was trying to think what else i could do for uh halloween uh type stuff so um before i ever had done the indie comics relay channel i used to be part of a video um slash audio podcast called the swass cast um you know if you look really deep in my archives here on the on the youtube channel you can find some of the videos um, but we had done one, um, God, I don't know how many, I don't know how many years ago this was at least f might be 15 years ago. No, maybe about 10 to 12 years ago. Um, so, uh, I used to do this podcast, uh, with my friend, John Cimino, who is actually was on this show a while, a while ago. He's the manager of, uh, comic legend, Roy Thomas. So we used to, before all that happened, we were doing a show and we would just talk to people and, um, you know, just create lists and try to get everybody's like, you know, lists, you know, but this one episode, we ended up just talking about, um, the Ben Cooper, uh, Halloween costumes. I don't know if you remember those, they were these cheap, every kid that grew up in the, you know, seventies and eighties, um, had these things it was like a cheap mask with like this garbage bag kind of outfit and it was you know the mask was held by an elastic you know <laughs> so we did this whole episode just talking about those costumes and um i remember it was really funny and a lot of fun um so i dug up the video and i'm gonna prevent present it here um for you guys to see again um it's really fun if you if you uh, remember those costumes and it, you know it's just a a bunch of friends sitting around just talking about these costumes and uh, yeah it was a good time so I'll, I'll I'll I'm gonna edit a little bit that you know if if any any parts in the video I felt like were draw, dull or dragging I'll I'll edit it but um yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna play that for you guys now and uh, yeah and come back come back to the channel next week we have a brand new uh interview on wednesday night so all right everybody have a great week and here is the video all right what's up everybody i'm john Samino, keith gleason amy Cupta, Efrain martinez and we're here with another swastcastic swastcast today we're having a halloween special edition spotlight on ben cooper costumes mm. I gotta admit, we're probably gonna be the first people to do this because there's nothing on the internet on Ben Cooper as you're gonna know. But first off, I gotta say, guys, I am a big fan of the ugly, scary, cheaply, cute things. And there's nothing more uglier, cuter, and cheaply made than Ben <laughs> Cooper costumes, right? Right, nothing better. Well, I gotta tell you guys, there's nobody that did it like him. I mean, think about it. Would he put out the ponchos? 
the jigglers. He made these the rubber masks, and they look tough. yeah, tiny yeah, tiny tot plant uh, sizes. But he also had like the rubber masks, and they look basically like a combination of like I would say cake batter and <laughs> and oatmeal like plowed on your face, and and it was stiff as a board. Clay, you know, oh, it was worse than clay. It was <laughs> whatever it did, it just wasn't. But but you know what? Ben Cooper was a a, a king at that. Any of you guys were? Uh, you guys have to have some memories of wearing a Ben Cooper costume, no? Oh yeah, Merman from He-Man. Oh, that Merman. was my first uh, Ben Cooper, and then after that, I have faint memories of having a Superman. Ben Cooper. Superman, costume. Batman, Spider-Man. Those were the staples in the Ben Cooper. Life. But it really sucked when you went to school on <laughs> Halloween Day, and then you saw like seven other Supermans. <laughs> and you realize you're not that super. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Wayne? I remember three costumes. I was Count Chocula one year. My little sister was um, Frankenberry, and I also had a Wonder Woman costume. Oh, oh yeah, awesome! The, the, the mask. Cool. Yep. Yeah. It was great. And those masks. They remember they had those little ventilation stuff, and like you'd stick your tongue through it, and then you'd get those those uh, canker sores on the top of your <laughs> yeah. and, it, and then by the end of the friggin' night, you'd have it'd be this wet foam like all the time. <laughs> And the taste, that weird, like, stale plastic taste. Stale plastic, saliva, bad breath smell at all. <laughs> and maybe some rubber band mark around your head. <laughs> and, and, the, the and chunks dog. of whatchamacallit all over. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Keith? What about you? Uh, um, I had the Spider-Man one <laughs> when I was a kid, but... My parents never bought me any one because they always freaking cheap and broke, and they wouldn't. My mother wouldn't pay for one. I was the Hulk for five years in a row, and every single year the 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 middle split. The middle split, and I I can remember the last two years of that five year span. I consciously was trying to not let it split because I would always like to save it. And what happened? I just walk around the block, split, split, <laughs> split. I mean, the yarn he must have used was so cheap. It was all, and that's the thing about Ben Cooper. Everybody knows about him. It's the most <laughs> famous name in all of friggin' uh, Halloween. Halloween. But there's not. He's the most obscure. I don't know what he looks like. I don't. I don't think anybody does. I looked up on the internet. There's no Wikipedia on him. There's little blurb things here and there, and everybody celebrating when they were on Ben Coop, wearing a Ben Cooper costume a year, that year or whatever. But nobody has ever seen him. Like I have no idea that nobody's ever known. I don't know what he looks like. Do we know he's even a real person? I, 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 I believe that he, I, my heart of hearts, I, <laughs> you want to believe. I want to believe because of all the, the love. But, but I mean, the guy was a genius, whoever this Ben Cooper was, because he did something that I don't think anybody could. I mean, he literally cornered the market on everything. There were so many obscure characters. There wasn't probably a thing that he didn't do. I mean, I took a list on some of the um, obscure things. He did the Impossibles, which was great. Coil Man, and had all the other Impossibles. He did the Shadow, your guy. Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior. He did Chuck Norris. Remember that uh, the, that, that cartoon he had? Yeah. He did Police Academy. What was the name of the guy? Steve Gutenberg. Can you believe there's a Steve Gutenberg? <laughs> Gutenberg costume. Oh, money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was the banana split, and then there was the land of the lost. You know, I mean, the weird thing is, is as you know, uh, it was that alien. What was that alien? The, the yeah. It was like a sleep sack. You know, I'm surprised if you look out there, you'll see his father, the son, or even that fucking raft that goes down the fucking thing. And I mean, so, <laughs> the stripe, <laughs> yellow, <laughs> the stripe. or maybe maybe the hook or even the orange. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But either way, that 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 I don't know what was more cheaply made, that friggin' raft or the friggin' actual Ben Cooper costume, because it didn't save nobody. <laughs> Neither time. But I have to say, I mean like it was crazy. And I got a wor and I got I got a costume list here. I can do a little thing with you guys. Now these are the worst that I could find of all the Ben Cooper stuff. And then you guys are gonna have to each tell me which one would you friggin' wear if you had to choose. Okay. First off we got Gabe Carter. There's a <laughs> There's a Gabe Carter friggin' thing. I mean, you're gonna be, and it has all like all the other guys. If they're gonna make a horrible guy like Gabe Carter, why didn't they make Juan Epstein? There's nobody more uglier and scarier than Juan Epstein. There was the friggin' the, the host of the Gong Show. <laughs> what kid is gonna? Yeah, I don't even know the kid. And what five-year-old is gonna know that? 
there was if you, there was Chachi from uh, Joni Joni loves Chachi Scott Baio I mean fucking unbelievable. Not even Scott Baio wants to be Scott Baio now. <laughs> Immortalizing the Ben Cooper Cup. There's Flipper. We got Flipper. We got the Rubik's Cube. And not to be mistaken with Rubik's, Ben Cooper nabbed up that license before freaking NBC ever did because the guy was a genius at that. We even have Morgan Freeman as in the freaking electric company. I'm sure that award winning actor doesn't want nothing to do with that. You, know, you want to dig up some stuff on um, Morgan Freeman? Look up this friggin' costume and show it to him. It's some friggin' red carpet thing. He'll friggin' jump over the friggin' paparazzi and try to get it. He doesn't want nobody to know that thing exists. There was Laverne and Shirley. Uh, it was Laverne. <coughs> and the worst one, which I think is the worst, and I have no idea why Ben... See, that shows you how much of a genius Ben Cooper is. I mean, I would have never thought of this. It was the Atari... Uh, asteroids video game car um, costume and literally your face looks like an asteroid or which could be a replica of the elephant man so I mean I'm scared to death of the elephant man and the this thing is just and I think it only has like one eye so you can't even breathe so it's got the effects like you're really out in space <laughs> so you look like ego the living planet <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we'll start with you in. Out of these horror shows, these truly scary costumes, in one way or the other, which one would you take? If I was a kid, I would have loved Laverne and Shirley, because I like the show, so Laverne and Shirley would have been it. But Morgan Freeman? I me, mean, come on. Okay, that would have been good too. What would be so funny, like, hey, I'm Morgan Freeman. Probably think you can win like an Oscar. What if I'm Morgan Freeman? Oh, man. But Laverne, what would you got? Oh, I should go with the. Uh, Welcome back, Cotter, if I had a big Because <laughs> out of all those things, that was the only thing I think I was maybe kind of watching when I was a kid. <laughs> and you think, of, I'm sure there is a Vinnie Barbarino or Horshack one out there, but I mean, like, Gabe Cotter. I mean, like, he did ask him to throw. I mean, Jesus Christ. He, I mean, he's such a genius in nabbing up the friggin' licenses at, at such a quick rate that he was the very first, this company was the very first people, or person, I don't know, to to actually put out a Marvel memorabilia. The 1963 <laughs> Ben Cooper Spider-Man costume is the very first piece of Marvel memorabilia cool. to ever go into anywhere. And I think it's kind of strange because Spider-Man came out in 1962, so he, they probably like thought like, oh, Spider-Man, that's kind of scary and anything, before Spider-Man was ever popular or anything, and they came out with that costume. And ironically, the 1963 Spider-Man costume all the way to, it came out every single year. They never, it never really changed. I always thought that was a pretty cool one, but I thought that was great. And they even made the Beatles, which those sell for like 1,500 a piece, and it's like, I think it's a Paul McCartney face and it has all like the uh, all the other beers. But I mean those are highly collectible. But you know, leave it to Ben Cooper to put these to do these cool, cool things. I mean I mean who would have thought? You know, I mean Spider-Man, Ben Cooper, I is mean. Is this company still around? Do they still does Ben Cooper still make costumes or is this just a collector's thing? I don't think Ben Cooper Ben Cooper is like uh, like a like a, a cockroach. So <laughs> you get an explosion, I bet you there's two things we're gonna find in, this, in an apocalyptic apocalyptic uh, um, world. We're gonna find cockroaches and Ben Cooper costumes. <laughs> 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 all the Ben Cooper costumes spawn number one in the <laughs> <Apple Super. laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of Valiant comics. <laughs> Look at that's funny. You look through Valiant comics and you get a Ben Cooper costume. <laughs> Another Ben Cooper. And then I have to say, guys, we're gonna talk about Ben Cooper. Also had like the most variant covers and boxes because I'm sure it changed everything <laughs> and stuff. But as we see here on display, right here we have the 1966 Incredible Hulk Ben Cooper costume. That's the very first Ben Cooper costume of the Hulk, and uh, he made a uh, he made a few of them. He made like Captain America, he made Thor, all the other guys, even Green Lantern, a bunch of them. And then Hulk wasn't that popular at that time, and so about seven, a few years later in 1974, this is when the Hulk's face actually change. You can see right here in the 66 it looks like Bill Everett, Jack Kirby, and here we have the 1974, the different box. Look at the, even even Woody Woodpecker here saying, wow, like, what a, wow, what a bad costume. But like, they got the, got the color wrong, the Hulk's a little yellowish on so this yellow one. With his, like, yeah. And then they had, they made this one in 77, 79, and 80. It's basically just 
um, the, just the basically Ben Cooper Hulk costume and mask. But uh, as you can see, Ben Cooper always changed it up, kept everything contemporary, and kept things cheap. And it, and you can look, the quality never changed in a 50 year span. There you go. You're gonna let me read these features of the costume. Okay, here we go. Keith is gonna read the features, and we're gonna see if this is true or not. Perfect. Okay, let's see if this is FDA approved. All right. Is their non-toxic Ben Cooper costumes and masks are decorated with non-toxic materials. <laughs> <laughs> toxic or not, those things like the friggin' ugly as hell. <laughs> they were just toxic to look at. Uh, and number three, color bright. The most brilliant fabrics and decorations are used. Consistent with character design. <laughs> yeah, the Hulk really has this yellow freaking thing. Most of us, Spider Man's got these yellow character design, my ass. <laughs> and vision. Uh, all Ben Koopa masks have extra large eye holes for better vision. Masks are flame proof and well vented. <laughs> Now like both little tiny holes, like, yeah, and they used to, sc yeah, and they used to scratch, scratch my eyes, eyes. Yeah. like in the thing, and it's like, and it's still flame retardant. Like, like, it's like kids are gonna play with. It's like you don't use a uh, like a, a radiation suit; you use a Ben Cooper costume to survive these things. Why do firefighters just wear these costumes? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe there was a Ben Koopa fire fight. Oh, in chief, give me the Steve Gutenberg mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the very last but not least, mask fasteners. All Ben Koopa masks have mass elas elastics permanently attached. No sharp points. Permanently attached. <laughs> right there. Yeah. You, take it, okay. you take it out of the package. <laughs> and mom has to like duct tape it because it had just two staples. So you just go, and it's like already you lost the rubber band. Did anyone else get the staple marks on the side? Of <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. But this just shows you. It broke and you just had to hold it. <laughs> How many times have you had to do that when you're out of the room? And you got near a staple. So depressing. <laughs> you would just put it in your trick and treat bag. You get to the house, you pull it up, put it up on your face. <laughs> Oh god! But it just shows you the genius of Ben Cooper. Look, we see all the flaws in this, but yet we love him for it. We 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 relish him for it. I mean, tell him about your contest. At the oh, okay, so here I am, the big guy. Everybody, I, I I was really young, and I entered one of those five years that I had wearing the Hulk co costume. I think it was this actually version of the Hulk right here, and. Uh, I, you know, there was about 50 uh, contestants and I went up with my Ben Cooper Hulk costume and I remember doing this stupid stuff and yes, it was split already. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> God, it's already split. And so after, they judged you on a big, on a few criteria. And so what I did is like after the contest, I didn't win. Some kid who had a great costume won. I went down and I looked at all the pamphlets and I looked up mine and I saw they rated you on like five categories on the scale of one to five. I had ones across the board on everything. And the thing is, I didn't look at the fine print. They probably said, if you're wearing a Ben Koopa costume, ones, automatic ones. They just put a stamp and give it to the next person. Yeah, and I did. I was, I thought I would win with that costume, but obviously with Ben Koopa. How much did he sell for back in the day? Back in the day, well we see this one right here. It goes for $1.98. I think they didn't go more for than four bucks a pop. You get them at Walmart, Marshalls. Well, they used to be in too, step. right? They were. It was cheaper back then too. I remember you get mine at Zares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they get them at but you, Yeah, but you, it's like place. Ben Cooper the genius. You probably could get them at like the friggin' the Indian variety store down the street. I bet you they had stacked them. Well, I remember Woolworths had the. They were all. Well, they had the boxes, and then they were all like already put together on a hanger, and you just oh, yeah, yeah, them yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah remember? Mm -hmm. So you could see what There's they probably a costume like. of the Indian guy from the store. <laughs> And it's so funny, it was so cheap. I remember trying the back thing, and right when I was putting the back thing, it was like. <laughs> and they, oh, just, but the funny thing is, not both of them are only one. You know, you know what I'm saying? 
You know, like one of those, when you're tying your shoelace and you got that one long lace, it's just like, oh, it's terrible. It's freaking awful. But I mean, you gotta admit, there's legions of fans that follow this stuff. Ben Cooper will always be a cult classic, and I recommend anybody, if you're looking for information, you ain't gonna find it, because it ain't out there. Put, I'm asking people, make the Wikipedia, but, but I don't know, if, I mean, we need stuff more out there on Ben Cooper, because I would like to freaking find this guy, and maybe somebody should question him. Like, what the hell were you thinking? Like, yeah. It had to be like some sort of like nerve gas that went out there, and when we saw these costumes, I mean, there was like literally nothing else. I mean, he even had the play suits and all that stuff. I mean, there was nothing. But it will never be forgotten. Ben Cooper is one of the greatest, greatest propaganda acts. But there you go. And I'm just gonna say, <coughs> is anything this? You know, Halloween, Halloween is is known for a scary time, and there ain't nothing more scary than a Ben Cooper costume. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody have a happy holidays, or, or trick or treat, trick or treat. whether you believe in it or not, but we do. Hey, so everybody have a good time, so how good? So good. Ahoy, mateys, tis I, Captain Horatio Honeyflakes. And I be here to tell you about me newest crowdfunding campaign. The adventures continue with me crew, the Mighty Mascots, in issues seven, eight, and nine. Just focus your looking glass on the amazing artwork of Ian Warianto and Anton Bondi. Me crew, the mighty mascots, are up against some scurvy scallywags and we need ye help to defeat them. There be a bounty of exclusive treasure only available here where X marks the spot. I spy a huge coffer of bonuses and stretch goals on the horizon. then please consider pledging so we can continue these adventures with the weirdest crew I ever had the pleasure of sailing with. Mascots Unleashed!